Now, I'm going to read a few poems. A kind of theme for this is, for my reading, is going to be beneath the sound and fury, we listen for the throbbing of the, of the true American soul. Now, we have an election, so-called, and we have a new regime and a new leader. In my poetry, I call him Little Man. Little man, what now? Little man, the carnival is here, the barker box. Virtue will hurt you. See the sideshow, fences on parade, American carnage, crystal meth users, heads wrapped in plastic. Weatherman forecast, a most unusual day. Opioids on parade. Fortune teller warning, beware November and January 8 and 20. Do not show her your palm. She might hear your song. Try to remember deep in December before American carnage. Little man, what now? Hide your little hands. Order the fences under which Mexicali's dig tunnels those wily Mexicales have been doing it for centuries. Tweets for twits, birds for words, virtue will hurt you. Sniff your version of crystal meth, trick or tweet, carnage. Little big man, little hands at the crossroads of pomp and circumstance. Cockadoodle, preen, are you tweeting out of love, my dear? Look down. Look down at your screen. When our leader declared, declared martial law, back then, when our leader declared martial law, no one remembers why, no one remembers when. Maybe it was the day a man walked into the mall, explosives in his underwear, blew himself up, killing 60 or more. We became aware we were in danger, grave danger. Our leader said, the courts will not protect you, the legislature will not protect you, I will protect you. Only I can protect you. Men, black uniforms, black goggles appeared on all the major thoroughfares of all the major cities. We felt calm, yes, calm. When they told us, you must be searched, we wanted to be searched. We thought some neighbors disappeared. We felt calm. It all made sense. There were dangerous people out there in bus stations, alleyways, warrens, on the other side of town. It all made sense. We are calm now. Back then, no one remembers why, no one remembers when. A man, underwear, a leader protecting us. We look down at our screens, smile, calm. I'm going to do a poem now, a requiem for flyover country, song of the mall, the new American main street. It's called Our Town. In our town, the reservoir pumps oil. Mother breast pumps oil. People are greasy. The speakeasy serves milk. Colombian milk cartels are deadly. Cows are on strike. The mayor banned cow unions. Town council promised a cow in every pot. Cows are shot on sight. In our town, people eat pickles. Pickles pick people. No one has seen a pickle for years. Terrorists detonate pickles from a distance. Pickle security is tight at airports. Pickles are omnipresent. Eggs are soft-boiled. 
in our town. Infants are hard-boiled. All schools teach black belt karate only. All schools are in strip malls. Strip joints are the main tourist trade. Strippers control the town council. Strippers have grenades wired to their scanties. Strippers are stripped, shot on sight. In our town, all pray to the stadium. All sports are played in the stadium. Pumped up songs are played in the stadium. The stadium is empty. The stadium is replaced every year. There are no churches in our town. There are long lines to get into churches. Everyone prays. Everyone asks, what is a prayer? In our town, cops wear pink. Cops study ballet. Cops plie, jete. Cops practice enhanced interrogations in tutus. Cops waterboard suspects in bikinis. Cops carry Glock 19s in their panties. All businesses in our town are nail salons, hair salons, tanning salons, tattoo parlors, massage parlors, psychic reading parlors, travel agencies, event planners, consultants, impresarios, sweet lace lingerie, wedding planners. All shops are empty. Glock 19s are vibrators in our town. Men masturbate to Glocks on iPads. Inhabitants listen to Glocks on MP3s. Everyone is wired. The shooting range is not deserted. Criminals are placed in cages in our town. Children throw peanuts for them to eat. The zoo is empty. One human is allowed to go homeless each year. Houses are full. There is a housing shortage. Everyone is homeless in our town. Now, as I say, we're going to try to search for the true American soul. So we're going to start with Allen Ginsberg. Now, in 1980, Allen Ginsberg had a very wild uh, spring at Naropa in Boulder, Colorado. He had many lovers. He was very naughty. And he wrote a very naughty poem, a sapphic poem, to each one of his lovers. Now, his mother was very disturbed by this. She was very angry at Allen. So she wrote a, a sapphic poem to Alan from the grave, of course, because she was dead. <laughs> so this is a letter from Alan's mother to Alan, sapphic poem written in Boulder, Colorado, May 29th, 1980. Ay, gavolt, Alan, what makes you different from the others? Driving me sugar to the crazy house for mothers. I've got this Jewish nice girl, makes good soup. Remember that girl Rebecca used to schmooze with on the shul steps after Shat Sabbath service? Oy, I don't like that word. Uh, as I was saying, matzo ball soup, good for you. Help cure that cold you got from cold Colorado nights. What were you doing, dancing Naropa, a wild, barefoot boy crazy? You knew him and came. I never heard such language from you before. When you were grow, going to Hebrew school, you got good grades. Oh, you're so nice in your bar mitzvah suit. Maybe matzo balls Rebecca makes make you forget those other balls you're so crazy about. I never should have let you go to Columbia. So far, you met crazy boys. Jack Kerouac, William Burroughs, Gregory Corso, and that Neil Cassidy. He was the one, that Neil, make you most crazy. You think boys are girls. How do you make babies? You come in behind? That's Miss Sugar, Miss Sugas. I remember you were a good boy. You said Kaddish for me. Rebecca, she's waiting on the shul steps. Come home, Alan, she's nice. <laughs> now this poem is, again, searching for the American soul. This is called Night on Bach Mountain, and it's for Chet Baker. Charlie Mingus, Dizzy Gillespie, Hoagie Carmichael, Miles Davis, Harry Belafonte, Billy Holiday. And it takes uh, numbers from their compositions and uh, constructs a poem. The refrain is Salt Peanuts, which Dizzy, Dizzy Gillespie made famous in the early and middle 1940s. And the Night on Bob Mountain is based on a theme from Night on Bald Mountain by Mazowski. This was Chet Baker's take on it. 
Night on Bop Mountain. Tonight at noon, you beep and bop on Bop Mountain. Under Peggy's green skylight, you bring salt peanuts, salt peanuts. Crazy as a loon, loony tune, tonight on Bop Mountain, you bugaloo the Haitian fight song, slice and cut, blow a gasket, but bring salt peanuts, salt peanuts. Them should swing, you swing the tune, wailing night on Bop Mountain, down, down to sand dune, banana boat, you going nuts, so bring salt peanuts. You whirl past the moon, glowing room, witches' Sabbath, swirl Bop Mountain. Sing of right, sing of wrong, so what, you say, but bring salt peanuts, salt peanuts. Black fruit swollen, swollen moon, broken branch on Bob Mountain. Slash and clash, Haitian fight song, bloom and strut, but bring salt peanuts, salt peanuts. Now this is a poem for Emily Dickinson, and again we should be thinking about uh, the great voices of our past and bring them into the present. The sky that is, the sky that was, what Emily saw for Emily Dickinson. The sky that is we see as dust, what drifts beyond we see as must, the force of light, the force of dark, the contingent flame the chance of spark. The stars that drift, the exhausted sun that splits in two, returns to one. The moon that turns on iron course and pulls the sea with iron force. The sky that was what Emily saw. The sky that was beyond, before. Before the name of sky was said, beyond the valley of the dead. A pyramid is what Emily saw a sphinx that flew beyond, before. She saw a sequel, a circle beyond, invisible as music, but positive as sound. <laughs> and finally, this is a poem for Charles Ives. Charles Ives was an American composer from 1874 to 1954, and this poem is inspired by titles and themes of his musical compositions. The Housatonic at Stockbridge, The Things Our Fathers Love, Ann Street, The Innate, The Circus Band, Serenity at the River, There is a Green Hill Far Away, like an eagle dying, a farewell to the land. In the morning, harvest home, lord of the harvest, discussions, arguments, the call of the mountains, Indians, the majority, the cage, old folks gathering, children's day, communion, prayer, humility, rejoicing in beauty and work, the march to Wooster Cemetery, a thing a boy never forgets. Taps sound out through the pines and hickories from Putnam's camp, Reading, Connecticut, when Jesus wept at Chester Children's Day. Emerson, Hawthorne, the Alcotts, Thoreau, and there sits the little old spinet piano, the richness of not having. Faces marked with generations of pain, man on horseback carved from a native quarry from what our country was made, carved in a shadow when Jesus wept, the drumbeat of a common heart, the silence of a sounding afterglow. Central Park in the dark, gather the flowers for the day's memorial, there is a green hill far away from Greenland's icy mountains, the unanswered questions Golden slippers, a farewell to the land, the things our fathers loved.